Hey ladies and gents, it's your boy Tim Hikes and today we're back for another tutorial and we're going to be exploring Apple Music. Looking at the animations in Apple Music and we're going to try to push the limits of Adobe XD to see if we can actually do real world experiences when it comes to animation. So this is what we're doing today. We're going to pretty much put this together because I've already did the hard work by recreating it. And then from there, we'll talk more about these animations. So let's get directly into it. So first we're going to look at Apple Music. So let's dive directly into our iPhones and actually look at the application, which is Apple Music, because I think it's really important that we start from there. So um, I'm looking at it and I have it up here. So pretty much. So I was looking at the different applications and I'm looking at this transition from when you hit this bar down here and how it goes up, how it pops up and everything. Um, I'm also looking at. Hmm how music plays with it so um, i'm clicking on formation when it's playing the image is larger uh if you push uh the thing the top button down at the top it goes back down and when you play it it comes larger when you stop it it goes smaller um you could even like scrub through i know uh <laughs> so, yeah so let's try scrubbing um, because all, that's creating a different type of animation too, you know, so that's something that we can do. I wonder if Adobe XD gives us that type of capability there. And yeah, so I really love the press to play and when you stop it and it goes up, you got this animation when it flies up, going up and down, flying up. Um, and I really think this is something that we can do with inside of Adobe XD. So let's stop there and let's jump directly into the application. Here inside Adobe Photoshop, I took the time to recreate the Apple Music. So this is pretty much our prototype. We have three screens. Uh, we have the home screen, we have the pause screen, and we have the play screen. Um, as you see on the home screen, down at the bottom, we have our box um, with, with the formation music. So we're expecting that when you press that, it's going to expand to the pause screen. And then pause screen is just a little bit smaller, the Lemonade CD screen actually is a little bit smaller and then when you actually press play that enlarges but if you also press the very top button there it goes right back down into the small version on the home screen so we're going to take this directly into adobe xd and we're going to connect it to see if we can actually get it to work as we expect it to work now we're here inside Adobe XD, and as you see, everything opened up perfectly. Um, it's exactly what you expect from Photoshop. You get the same type of resolution here in XD. Uh, one thing that I definitely made sure is that the names of the layers were the same on each artboard because that's how the animation is going to happen. So let us take the time uh, to pretty much just put together the different prototype screens and see if we can actually get some animation with auto animate um once again if you have any problems or any difficulties or you see things are not right normally the names of the layers are not the same and so you have to go back in and make sure that the names of the layers are actually the same so let me give give me a few minutes let me put this together and let's see what we have well i must say that i'm quite impressed um the auto animate feature has definitely worked well in this case um as you press here it enlarges uh the Screen in backward actually it decreases in size, so it gives us that same type of look that we had in Apple Music. Uh, when you press the play, the Lemonade CD cover it enlarges, uh, and it looks as if it's playing. Uh, if you press down, it goes back to the home screen. So I'm very very happy with this turnout. Um, a couple of things that I might want to try in the future, uh, as we looked at the application in the beginning, we did try to scrub back and forth. And when we were scrubbing, you notice that it actually turned red. So the little circle or the ellipse, it turned red, got bigger. And then the timestamp down there, under it moved down just a little bit, you were able to scrub back and forth. And then as you got to the end and got to the end time stamp, that also went down just a little bit. So I'm sure that's something that you can do with inside Adobe XD. I say take this prototype that I've given you and play with it. See if you can actually get it to work like the real application. And now how this works in the real life is now that you know that these functions are with inside Adobe XD, you can actually create these type of small experiences. So with inside of Apple Music, I like to say that it never ceased to amaze me that these little small animations have definitely added to the experience. Um, it's nothing just to pull up another screen or 
make the screen come up or slide over but it says a lot when you can really expand the screen it look like you're opening a container or expanding that container so that the application can live with inside that and then to have that the open and the close going on in there and then when you press and have things getting bigger getting smaller it just really creates the really small nuances that really are uh, special to the user um, and they become so special that we take it for granted and forget that it's there we start to really expect it but what happens is when you go to other other application who have not taken the time to put small nuances of animation within their application to set it apart from others, you start to tell the difference and you really start to think that the quality of the application itself is not worth it. So it's really good to have these small nuances to create that real experience to give the user just a little something extra. Yeah, we got music. Yeah, we can listen to the music, but give me just a little bit something extra to keep me coming back. To get, it makes me feel good. Like I'm using a high-end product but it's just an application so that's my two cents that's all i have to say about this um if you want to learn more about animation you can watch this video here where i actually talked about earlier animating numbers with inside adobe xd you know it was a whole experience where i went through trying to just get numbers or letters or even animating you know different uh squares or different things or objects to see them expand when you go to a different screen or something like that so you can watch this video to follow that i want to thank you for watching this video and this whole month we'll be exploring other applications to see if we're able to duplicate those experiences with inside Adobe XD. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope I made a better designer out of you. Thanks. Bye.